This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, today a quick topic on Cypress that how to do a back and forward simulation in Cypress. The same feature is available in Selenium also. Like we have uh, driver.navigate.back and forward. Same thing you can do it in uh, Cypress also. So back and forward means let's say I just launch google.com and after that I'm launching let's say amazon.in or .com and then I want to go back by clicking on the back button and the forward button of the browser. So this is called back and forward uh, simulate simulation on the browser uh, using Cypress. So how will you do that? So I cannot inspect these because these are not the web element. These are the browser elements are available and then uh, these are the browser property. These are the browser buttons are available on the you know on this address bar or something like this. So I cannot inspect these guys. So I have to click on back and forward. So how to do that? So Cypress provide a method that is called a cy.go method. Okay, so let's say I've created this particular uh, test file back forward test.js describe an it block that I have written. Now I will visit a particular site. Let's see cy.visit and uh, let's go to uh, some site. Let's see freshworks.com. Okay, on this particular site, I simple let's see launch this URL and I simply say that okay, if cy. Uh, okay, contains. Okay, it contains what if it contains platform then you click on it. So I simple let's see right It's a capital platform And if it is contains then you simple dot click so I'm just going to click on it Okay, when I click on it So we are landing on this particular platform page on right and now I can see I want to go go back I want to come back. So how would you do that? So for doing this Okay, you simple write C by dot. Remember this method, go method, and then you write simple back over here. That's it. So C by dot go means go back, and then let's see. I'm just going to put a wait over here. Let's see C by dot uh, wait for uh, 200 milliseconds, and then C by dot go, and then you write forward over here. So it means. First, you launch this particular site, then you go to the platform page and then come back to the home page, wait for 200 milliseconds, and then again come forward to the platform page. Okay, so let's see it is working or not. So I'm going to run this through my command line. So let me clear the console and I just need to change the file name. Okay, back forward dot okay test.js and then let's run it. And then you will see that uh, the back and forward is happening or not. So it's uh, launching Google Chrome. You can see that. And uh, yep. Yeah. So let's see. Launching freshworks.com. It's waiting for platform. Then it should click on platform. See, it's clicking on platform. And after that, it should come back. See, it's coming back to the home page. And again, it should come forward. See again back to platform page, right? And if you really want to verify, you can verify in the command also. And you see that okay, my test is absolutely working fine. Everything is green color. So I'll do one thing. I'll show you in um, okay in Cypress only. So I launch Cypress runner so that you will see the logs also properly. So let's open the Cypress. Okay, let's wait. Yeah, so you it's available over here. Let's run this uh, the site back and forward once again. So back forward test.js. Let's run it again. Okay, so it's launching freshworks.com then uh, it should click on platform clicking on platform then again click on the back button see again coming back and then again move forward to the platform page and our test is over and now you can see that uh, all my test is working fine it's green color and you can see that okay go forward wait for this it's perfectly working fine and go back also perfectly working fine so these are the first step is for second third fourth and fifth and sixth step everything is working fine like that so this is the first way of uh, doing it other way is that you can do that if you don't want to write back and forward you can simply write for back 
okay let me just comment it out you can simply write cy dot go you can write minus one also so minus one is used for clicking on back button and if you don't want to write forward you can write plus one over here like this so minus one and one minus one is for back and plus one is for forward like that also you can simply do that so let's run it again and let's see so i launch this uh, back forward test.js and then let's see okay is it launching let's uh, stop this and run it again one second so yep it's launching the browser and let's see it's doing back and forward or not yeah you can see that back and forward it's absolutely working fine and then positive plus one means forward forward to platform page so it's very simple you can simply do that okay so let me just comment it out but i would advise you that okay for more visibility point of view better to write like this okay back and forward let me just uh, close this and stop the runner now there is one more option that you can pass when you write cy dot back as a optional parameter you can pass over here that is called the timeout parameter so you can simply say that okay hey when you clicking on the back button you can give a timeout over here so that is an optional parameter so you can simply write timeout of uh, what the timeout of let's say i'm giving around five seconds that also you can do that so this timeout will override a default timeout that you have uh, configured in cypress.json file so that topic i haven't covered so you don't worry about that in the next chapter i'll tell you what are the default uh, timeouts are available so page load timeout uh, right now i have given 60 seconds in my cypress.json so it will override this particular 60,000 milliseconds with uh, 5,000 milliseconds, like that. Okay, but this is an optional parameter. You can ignore it. If you really want to use that, you can do that. So let me run it again uh, with back and forward test.js and let's see. Okay, so again, back and forward is happening. Yep. So yeah, come back with timeout of five seconds. You can see that, yeah, it's a dynamic wait. If it's coming back within five seconds, it will ignore the rest of the seconds and come forward. Okay, so absolutely working fine. And my test also got passed over here like that. Okay, so this is fine. Now, if you really want to use that, you can use it. Otherwise, you can ignore it. Okay, so cy dot uh, go okay is used to do a back and forward you can write minus one and plus one also you can do that and some parameters also like that you can simply pass okay sometime what happens that okay let's see uh, after this i click on it and i want to move to some other website so let's see it is working with the site cy dot uh, visit visit to www dot google.com okay and then you visit let me comment it out all these guys and when you visit then uh, after that you can put uh, dot go okay and then come back so as a chaining option also you can do that okay as a chaining method also you can do that so you can write go back and let's see it is so working with the uh, like this also back and forward Okay, so first it will go to freshworks.com, then it will click on uh, platform, then it will go to google.com, and then it will go to back, and then it will go to forward. So let's see, it's working or not. So stop the runner and uh, run it again. And go will automatically do the assertion also, if you have written any assertion over there. Let's see if you want to verify the title or where you, if you really want to verify some specific element over there. So yeah, it failed because you are attempting to visit a URL that is a different origin. So, okay, because we are not moving to the origin. So uh, 
because what exactly we are doing we are moving from freshworks to a different uh, domain name google.com okay so i'll do one thing uh, okay let's not visit a new site i'll do one thing that uh, go and forward i'll apply okay on this guy over here okay now let's see on the within the same domain so you'd see it's absolutely working fine right so like this you can simply do that so freshworks.com then you click on platform then dot go back then dot forward so you don't need to write cy dot cy dot again and again so like this also you can do that right so with the same origin policy if you really want to use so it will give you an error over here but that error we will solve it later there is a solution for that there is a, a configuration over there so you can solve it later if you really want to go back to google.com so let's i'll show you what exactly the error it will show but we are not bothered about that error we're just concentrating on go okay back and forward so but let's see so after doing all the back and forward it should go to google.com or not it will give you an error over here so back is done okay forward is also done and after that it's saying see it's this is a cypress error because see by dot visit failed because you are attempting to see visit a url that is a different origin it means different domain it means you're moving from freshworks.com to google.com so cypress by default does not allow that okay so in that case cypress uh, says that okay you your previous url see the logs freshworks.com now you're trying to visit to google.com you may need to restructure some of your test code to avoid this problem okay like that so this will not work like that okay so uh, let's ignore this particular thing over here if you really want to check their documentation it's really written over here that okay yeah that uh, failed because you are attempting to different okay origin domain over here so okay let's not talk about it right now so like this you can you cannot do that so same origin policy if you really want to uh, you know check guys you can check it over here like that okay so, but there are some configuration you can just configure it and then later on i'll tell you how to configure it but right now this is not the thing so let me just comment it out but in selenium it is allowed you can remember that you can simple driver.navigate.2 you can move to any other domain from google to amazon or amazon to any particular site you can easily go there like that but here you can do it like this right so that's all for this particular video guys i hope it's a very very simple video thing back and forward simulation with cypress so thanks for watching this video let me know if you have any issues thank you so much